<laughs> Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to RimWorld, The Rule of Two. And, well, we're jumping straight into it today because look at this, Kin is back, and all it took was a little bit of discipline. So, um, <laughs> I'm glad you could rejoin us, my friend. I'm glad you could. Now, of course, there is some rebuilding that needs to happen here at home before Jin and Ken can make their way back out into the world to continue conquering. And of course, we do have Lin, our new recruit, a vet who still does not believe in the Sith, at least yet. That's why Saber is currently trying to trail her. Eventually, we will win her over, however. You may very well notice that our prison is looking rather empty. Yes, we did have those two sieges on the horizon. And, well, we've got a world to conquer. And yes, it does mean that we're sacrificing a little bit of honor. Honor in the future, that is, by letting them go or releasing them back to our people. But we do have more important things to do. There is but one more settlement out here, belonging, of course, to the Dorna Coalition and destroyers, frigates, cruisers, and everything else in between dotted around here. And this is going to take a long time to get to all of these. So for the Dorna Coalition, we're going to be attempting to capture that. And for this, we will be using Tiers' military. Back home, however, we are going to have a look at chucking down something that I have neglected to put down yet, which is these Raider mechanoids. I don't know how good they are going to be, but I feel like it's worth us having a few. If we can have cannon fodder out there when fighting against mechs with mechs of our own, I feel like that will help. It'll take us a bit to be able to put all of them down, whether or not we have the components necessary, I suppose we will see. We could always sacrifice a few of the miners, which really aren't doing too much at the moment. Yes, I think we'll make the decision now to deconstruct at least two of these charging stations. You know what, we can get some good stuff from the Plasteel Forge here as well. So we'll take that apart for now. We haven't been using it as much and we do still have a fair amount of Plasteel just kicking about. If we need to, we can end up trading for some. Oh, wonderful. And look at this, another chance for us to test our skill and stay nice and sharp. <laughs> Well, there's our first one, and it looks like they're carrying bloody auto cannons. So, <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I am hoping that we are going to be able to bring them on journeys with us. But if we can't, they are still going to be good defenders when we send the rest of our folks out. Oh, and there we go. Okay, we've managed to capture the settlement. Let's have a look at that. So, we now have White Plain, which is under our control. It's going to take them a little while before they bounce back and, you know, get happy. But it looks like this is probably going to be another quarry by the looks of things. So we will go and give them that quarry. Well, hey, hey, Ken actually has a fair amount of force. I'm actually going to go and put it somewhere else, though. We're going to put it into force speed just because it is a very useful skill for us to have. So I've also been doing a little bit of research into creating a ship. Something for us to be working on while we are fighting the mechanoids on this planet. But we can see that this would be incredibly dangerous. Many desperate souls are wanting to get off and ship reactors take 15 days to charge up. Once we begin that process, the reactor will emit an energy signature detectable from thousands of kilometers away. Raiders will flock to attack us, those that are left here, and mechanoids will be attracted to such energy. Not surprised. It won't start until we activate our ship's reactor, but when it does, it'll be ferocious, so we'll need to have lots of things to be able to survive the onslaught. Now, I guess it depends what will happen first, whether or not we can build a ship first, or if we are able to rid this world of mechanoids, because they're going to be landing still while we are trying to fight them off. Well, we just had a little event happen here in which Jin has now managed to pick up a Mandalorian helmet. <laughs> <laughs> a nice look. Now that came from one of our settlements and Armour decided to try and make something real good and it's not half bad. Oh, conquest. Well, 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 well. Okay, so it looks like the Fallen Empire isn't going to be able to hold on to these settlements long term. Or maybe, maybe it won't be. What we can do though, is go and attack it. We're going to go and say capture settlement and we are yet again going to use Tiers' military. Let them not fail us. Ah, Tears strikes yet again. 
The settlement is now under our control. Arrow's settlement, it seems. And yet again, this is somewhere that is going to benefit well from a quarry. And it's a level two settlement as well. We'll go and chuck in that quarry. Maybe a public market too. Ah, oh, here we go. Mechanoid components. And this is from a bulk goods trader. Damn, we've actually got the first structural beam of our ship coming together as well. Decided to kind of build it down on this side for the time being. Well, it looks like Thebo's going to get attacked. We're going to send Aridium in to help defend. It's giving them an effective force of 10, which is heaps. And our defense was successful at Thebo. Nice. And speaking of defense and potential defenders, these mechanoids are nearly done charging. This is the last one. So after breakfast, I think we're going to have a look at sending this crew out with Kin and Jin for a bit of fun times. Right, so the closest one to us is down here, and it's a cruiser, no less. So that's going to be decently defended, I think. And that does confirm it. We can bring along the Raider Mechanoids. Fantastic. We'll bring them. We'll bring our Auto Strider and Savas. Baldi is pregnant. My gosh. N no, no, Baldi isn't pregnant. Baldi is bonded to Master Race. That would be an immaculate conception. That would be weird. And also, I'm pretty sure Baldi is male. <laughs> so the route time is only 0.5 days, so half a day to be able to get there. I'll be intrigued to see how good these Raider Mechanoids are. I'm going to bring along a fair few of these package survival meals just because I want to potentially stay out for longer. And we can see that they are on the move. Yeah, how long can they last for? How long will their charge work? How good are they actually going to be? We will see. Okay, they have arrived, and that is our cruiser here. Okay, all right. So, we do have some enemies around the outside. Looks like they've got some pretty nasty turrets. They have a reactor in the center. Large fire if damaged. I like the sound of that. We might be able to try and rush for that. Oh, a psychic suppressor as well. I see. Also, ah, the ship engines. Same deal. Um, so, Either attacking the reactor or the ship engines would help us out a lot. So what we are going to do here is, first of all, let a little bit of time pass. Kind of try and spread them out like so. I don't know if we're going to be dealing with shields. <laughs> They're already using mortars. We're going to move up to here with Ken and Jin. Once they get closer, we're going to start using that force speed. But it's probably going to be Jin that's going in, just based on the... <laughs> <laughs> speed that she has here. I mean, just in general, I think she's going to be faster because of her legs. Actually, she doesn't have bionic legs. She's just fast. Okay, let's go for that four speed, which will make you even faster. And then we're going to rush you in here. So let's just follow Jin here as she starts to make her way in. Has a good few strikes against this thing. Come on, let's take it down. Okay, okay, it's already making noises. So we probably want to back up, huh? Yeah, let's start to move, Jin. Let's start to move. I guess, hmm, let's not go too far, though, right? Because, oh, ideally, we'll catch them in it as well. That's brilliant. Okay, so while we still have four speed, let's see if we can get to the reactor. Quick as she is. Oh, man, this is fantastic. Okay, I need you to get some strikes off here because we can just get her to jump jet out if she can destroy us. There we go. Okay, we'll jump jet back over that way. Oh, come on. We really need to get that jump off, Jin. I don't want you to be here for the explosion. There we go. Oh, bloody action hero over here. Knocking back the shots. Come on, explode any moment now. Would be great. Would be grand. All right, we might miss a few of them here. That's okay. How is this lot doing? Okay, let's get them into a better position. Jin's holding her own at the moment. This better be a decent explosion. That's all I have to say. Oh, it was decent. That was more than decent. That was fantastic. Okay, all right. Let's get you guys in the actual shield just so you can actually hit. Where is the shield, by the way? Ah, that's it there. Okay, all right. Let's do a quick heal self if we've got the time to do it. And Jin's just going to rush across any moment she can. Or, you know what? Let's just use the jump. Come on. There we go. Let's take this down if we can. Making our way over. <laughs> Destructing things unintentionally. Here we go. Take down that shield, please. That's it. Shield is down. Okay, so now they pretty much have the ability to open fire on whatever they want. Yeah. Good. Let's just um, maybe back up for a little bit, Jin. Let this lot do what they uh, 
need to do. Yeah, we can get that heal self now. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten that your brother is indeed here. He's just, he's just chilling out, you know? Let's see. There we go. All nice and healed. We'll start to move these guys up a little bit further. They're on search and destroy, so they should be wanting to move closer. I guess maybe they don't feel like they need to. You know what? You two. Let's put you on search and destroy and see how that goes. All right. Good job, Jin. Down with a few strikes. Ow. Yep. Got to be wary of that. Next turret. Okay. Yep. Let's... <laughs> Little too explosive, eh? Let's get moving back. And, uh, Ken, same deal. It looks like it's just the one left at this stage. Yeah. I don't want Ken to get caught the crossfire, but... Go and take him out if you can, my friend. <laughs> I think with these guys, we do need to try and get them to move closer. Just maybe have run and gun off to force them to be more accurate at closer range, you know? Ah, there we go. Base destroyed, and we got a lot for it. Now, Jin is in danger of bleeding out, but that can be fixed very quickly. She will have the ability to heal on the road. They are on their way, up towards a destroyer, far to the north. There's just something about watching them speed along these main highways here. It's very satisfying. Okay, we are at our next location here, and it's a little different from before. We do still have a very large ship engine. However, we do have Inquisitors, and they can be, well, a little nasty. So I think what we're going to want to try and do is have Ken and Jin back here, and then have our other folks in front with their auto cannons, so that they might be able to try and take down the flaming fiends that are down there. Although... They don't seem to be heading for us just yet. I mean, they're sending out a lot of shots back towards Savas and our Auto Strider, but they seem to be fine at the moment. So, you know what? Let's go full speed up Jin. We'll see if we can very quickly get her in there to, yeah, attack the reactor, I think. It's going to have to be a very quick in and out. And I mean, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, see, that that's the problem is that I don't want her to get caught on fire here. Hmm. Jin, let's get you moving for now. Yeah, just they are bad news. Let's go around the side, see if we can get a few attacks in on the engine. Close. Ne okay, that'll do it. That'll do it. We'll use the jump jet to get away. And then I think if we can get enough speed, we should be all right. Okay, very good. Very, very good, Jin. Okay, you know what? Let's go back to this one. Ken, I think you're going to be okay. It looks like we're going to have to send this lot to... Uh, try and take care of this one. I will put them on running gun now so that they can start shooting. Oh boy. I should have been paying attention. Uh, Jin, let's just get you out of there so that you can heal. Please. And thank you. Sounds like one of them's already blown up. That's great. We'll use heal self with Jin. All better. Now I've got no trouble with Jin taking on scythers and stuff like that. It's just uh, when those uh, blokes down there die, they do so violently and uh, by exploding. Yeah. Jin, thank you. We appreciate you. The rest of you head down and take down these flaming ones. Meanwhile, I'll see if I can send a Jin around the side to take out some of the turrets. Yeah, we'll be fine. They don't, <laughs> they don't have the angle. Oh, run and gun for you as well. Yeah, there you go. That'll, that'll help. Oh, yep. Yeah, no, it certainly did. And base destroyed. So we're going to be on to the next one. They're probably going to rest here for the night, but uh, yeah. A frigate is the next one for us, and a frigate should be smaller than the two that we've fought so far. So that will give us a good idea of what we are looking at. I think the biggest that we have on the map here is, yeah, just the other cruiser. It's approaching the afternoon, there's a dry thunderstorm raging at home, and it looks like they are going to hit that frigate any moment now. Right, oh, okay, so <laughs> just as the sun was setting. And yeah, this is going to be a lot easier for us to take care of. Yeah, they do have a shield, but I think if we can get in there quickly with Jin, who is very quick, we'll be able to do a number on them. Let's go and draft up our lads here, get them ready to form something of a defensive line. As Jin, uh, well, creates a little bit of havoc for this lot here. And we're just going to go run back right away. It does say that they're ready and they're gonna try and attack us. Oh, fantastic. Jin will get you jumping back just so that we're away from the shield so that this lot will actually have a chance to, to hit okay. And you know what? We will be taking on the Scythers as they get close. And there's a fair few of them here as well. Oh, that one. Yeah, you're gonna be 
problematic. You know the thing about these raiders, we can't actually tell them who to hit. That's a little bit of a problem. So I think what we're going to try and do is do a rage, if we can. Just so that we're less likely to get hit. Oh, and we've lost one of our lads. Unfortunate. Ken, let's get you back here for now. Jin, we'll get you backing up a little bit as well. I mean, she seems to be holding her own, okay. Oh, that was so unfortunate for them. Oh, I love that though. I love that. Yeah, you know what? Stay there and Ken, you come up and help as well. Thank you. That'd be much appreciated. Um, just the side. Jin there. Let's get the scyther down. Excellent, excellent. All right, so we're going to take them off run and gun. We'll just say search and destroy ranged. I really do want them to get closer though. <laughs> you know what, let's go for another bout of force speed. And we'll send Kenan to attack the reactor that's back here. Here we go. Gotta make it past these Python first though. Unfortunately, it seems like if she does block a shot, she ends up stopping. Let's just keep on moving, thank you. Here we go. Just a little bit more, thanks. That'll do it. And let's get out of there. And that should take down the main shield as well. So we'll be able to shoot at the uh, pikemen if they end up surviving this. Excellent work there, raiders. Let's keep moving closer. If we can. Oh, another down. Unfortunate. Ken, let's get you moving up on this charge, Lancer. Thank you. Ah, oh, man. Another down. Well, I was planning on heading back to home after this one, so I guess that's good. And Jen, you were right on the edge of that one. Jeez. Just the two pikemen left at this stage. Well, Jin and Ken are going to help take them out. And just the one left. That'll do it, team. That'll do it. So it shouldn't take them that long to make it back home. Says that it's going to take a while, but we can speed that up. 1.4 days. That's what it is. That's what it is. All right, we've got another ship part to add. A sensor cluster, a multi-function sensor module can scan and signal across the void for communications, etc., etc. So where are we going to want to put this? We could go on the front. I look, I know, I know. It is what it is. We do have two crypto sleep sarcophagi on here at the moment. We might add more, but just to start with, we want one for Jin and Kin. That's definitely faster than 1.4 days. They're uh, speeding along the highway at the moment. However, the sun is setting, so yeah, maybe they will have to rest overnight. And the caravan is back. Fantastic. We'll get them unloaded and we'll see if we can make some more of our friends. Well, let those ones heal as well. Time for a little bit of high flesh carving while everyone is here, as Lynn has joined our faith. A satisfying flesh carving. Wonderful. Oh boy, machine persuasion. Okay, so what that means for us is that we're finally going to be able to put the AI Persona Core that we got a very, very long time ago to use. We got everything that we need to, to place this thing down. Now I'm thinking, hmm, oh, it can just kind of go at the front. You know what? I kind of feel like that works as well. Yeah, we'll go further along here and we're going to have engines at the rear or something like that. A little bit of trouble from the mines again, but nothing that our team can't handle. Yeah, they are proficient at making quick work of these bugs now. And bugs are big business for us. We sell a ridiculous amount of insect meat and insect jelly. They've been good for us in a weird way. And there it is, a ship computer put together. And hey, hey, we have recruited Tyrant's mom. <laughs> Welcome to the colony, Tyrant's mum. Uh, you need a name, and we actually need a name for another small little crate dragon we've got down here. So, two names. First of all, for our crate dragon here, we have Liam McCarthy. Welcome to the dragon pack. And Libetta will now be named Redwind. I feel like we kind of had to recruit her, being a family member and all that. And she does have some alright skills across the board. Just checking though, I... Oh, nope, we do have a spare room. Okay, good, 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 good. Redwind, it's now all yours. Oh, mech cluster with the toxic spewer. Well, I, I guess we're going to be going for that first thing as soon as we leave. Fallout water contaminated. Oh, boy. After two days, it will contaminate our water. Okay, well, we know that we are definitely going to be leaving before then. Um... You know what? Power seems to be okay. Let's let's head out now. Got to bring 10 days worth of food. I feel like it should be good. 0.1 days for us to reach there. I feel like it's going to be pretty quick. 
Okay, it looks like they are heading off, kind of down out this direction here, but the sooner they go, the better, because right now we are under the effects of a, you know, toxic buildup. It's not fun. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Really, they're gonna rest? It's right, it's right here. That is seriously unfortunate. Well, it is what it is. We're gonna have to hit them first thing in the morning and just hope that no one gets too sick. Right, there they go. Let's take care of the trouble. Okay, so we've only got a few enemies here. We should be able to pretty quickly take them out. We are moving up and in. They are on search and destroy, so as soon as they get in here, they should start to uh, cause a little bit of havoc. Yay? Nay? Oh, not yet. Okay, well, let's just go and take down this shield quickly if we can. Oh, it's a high shield, so it's not as important, but still, it'll help if we take it down. And just no friendly fire, please. That'd be uh, much appreciated. Nice. Okay, that's down. Jin, good work. Let's uh, start moving in, eh? Ken, same deal. Don't get too close there, friend. All right, let's open that door, and you two get slashing. And there we go. Toxic spewer down. So from here, the next lot that we need to go for are the ones that are down here. We'll go for the frigate first, I think. Back at home, those green skies have diminished. While Kim and Jin are off, we're gonna do another ceremony, this time for Redwind. And let's see. It was spectacular. Good job, Saber. All right, at our latest location here, we've got a nice big engine, which Jin, of course, is going to uh, pop in to destroy. Ken, just hang out here for a moment. We'll get that four speed going, and we're going to send her right towards it. The others have been drafted up, and I'm really hoping that we are going to be able to avoid getting flamed here, because uh, that's the real danger. Okay, I'm glad that Jin managed to um, refill her pack, because that's super important. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something so satisfying about that. All right, and uh, yeah, pop back around that corner. Thank you, Jin. Let's keep you on the move, thanks. Actually, you know what? Hmm, worked out well last time. Let's go and uh, frenzy one of those lads if we can. That'd be grand. There we go. Uh, I don't think we got it off. Let's get jumping again. Get some more distance. Ken, you should be able to take care of this one. Yeah, let's see if we can get a rage off here. I'd be super happy. There we are. Blow each other up now, please. Jin and Ken, just keep on attacking. You're doing a good job. Just being wary of what else is out here. I'm not sure what you're firing. Thump cannon. Yeah. Don't really like that, eh? Oh, Jin's slightly on fire. We don't like that one bit. Time to start moving back. Ken as well. Okay, yep. Yeah, move, move, move. Of course, he ran the wrong direction then. Um, I hope that wasn't your hand that disappeared. Time for you to go, my lad. Run. Jin, let's get you doing a heal self here. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, we just made it away from the flames. Let's go and rage these ones in the back. Oh, we could do a force choke on one of them as well. Nice. We'll get our team moving up a little bit closer. Ken, moving back. Now just, yeah, shoot it before it gets too close and we'll be happy. There we go. Okay, pretty good. We just need to take down this lot now. Honestly, I think it's probably just that turret there. Can't be 100% sure, but I think it is. Jin's moving up. There we go. Base destroyed. Next one's going to be just down here by our two settlements. And that one is just... Oh, not just. It is a destroyer. So, uh, yeah, they'll be packing a little bit more. Okay, well, they made it here very, very fast. And... They've got some hefty stuff, but yet again, I think if we can get to that drive first, we'll be looking pretty good. Oh, Savas. Youch. Okay, um, let's make sure we get out of here in 10 hours. You better not hit my horse again. Good. Right, Jin is in position. We're going to go in four speed, and we're going to head straight for that engine. Quick few strikes. Should be enough to do it, as we know. One more, maybe? Another? There we go, Jin. Okay, and time to jump away. And there we are. That's what we like to see. Oh, man. And they were all just drawn into it as well. You know what? Let's try and draw them down this way. See if we can get them to go uh, towards that. Kind of. I'm going to do a force rage on the Inquisitor that's down here. And then we'll just run back towards our friends. 
You know what? We can get another one off. Let's do it. Let's get them both angered so that uh, their friends might actually end up attacking them. Needs to take down the Scyther quickly so that we can start to maneuver. Let's get these guys out along the side because we don't want to be close to them when they fire. Yeah, let's move. Oh boy. Yep. Lots of explosions happening. And there's going to be even more. <laughs> I mean, they're just as deadly to their own troops because um, their explosions... Yeah, they... <laughs> They very quickly take down anything that's close by. As long as we hit. Like, like that, for example. Yeah. Okay. We should be alright. As long as we can just head straight down towards this turret. I'll let this lot just start to move away. Make them harder to hit. Jid should be able to do this. She can. And this base is destroyed. 0.2 days to make it to the next one. However, the question is going to be, can we make it there before night? Well, I guess that answers it. They totally can make it here in time. Okay, and they're firing already. Right, well, you know what we got to do. We've got a nice exposed engine at the back there, reactor at the front. Yeah, let's uh, get moving. Kin, let's get you moving too. Savas is going to make it, it seems. All nice and patched up. All right, here we go, Jin. Just get the attacks off that you need to, and then get moving. That'll do it. So we start moving back, hopefully drawing some of them into <laughs> that place right there. Excellent. Okay, moving down to the next one then. Okay, oh, a little bit tricky here. Okay, well, I tried to use the jump jet. Did not work. Let's try it again. Okay, we got lucky that time. Let's start to strike at this reactor if we can. All right, we've got an angle. That's good. That's good. Ken, just hang out there for now. Let's just go see if we can force choke that one. Oh, and Jin, get it, get away from that if you can. Oh boy. Yep. Please. Oh no. Oh no. Can we jump to it? Yes, we can. Just in time. Seemingly. Okay, make it back towards your friends. Well, we've got that one stunned for now. That's good. Let's stun that one. And Jin, let's go and enrage the other. See if that'll work. Okay, that's good. Really need to get away from all these flames. Okay, <laughs> that's the worst of them gone. Good. All right, now we can start to attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, the reactor, that's a big explosion. Moving up, Ken and Jin. We've got a pikeman that's somehow still alive back here and a turret to take care of. We'll get all of our soldiers advancing. And we'll put them on running guns, so <laughs> if they have an angle, they'll start to take it. Excellent. Just the pikemen now. And you know what? Let's turn off that running gun. <laughs> there we go. Another one crumbles. And as you can see, we still have a fair few more to get through. We have unlocked the ship engines, which means that we're actually onto the last bit of research. And very well timed. The caravan has made it back here. And the reason they've made it back is, well, that last fight was messy. As you can see, Jin's armor got pretty injured and we've only got one raider left after all of that. So we are going to have to try and rebuild them before heading out there. But yes, onto the last bit of research. That's for the reactor. Hmm, I'm thinking we'll pick up this doomsday rocket launcher here before we head out again. Oh, our taxes all just arrived and our faction has actually leveled up. It's been the first time in a while that that's actually ended up happening. We're faction level three at this stage, which means that we can pick a new trait at this point. Innovative is pretty good. Although in saying that our research is nearly done. Let's just say industrious. I feel like that's uh, the right choice. And Buffalo, the Pilgrim, has arrived. Now we still haven't left yet. We haven't gone back out into the world. And there's one reason why. It takes a little while to rebuild these guys each time. And that's taking resources away from the ship. And while we are taking out some of these places, uh, more of them are popping up while we're out here. Which means that we're going to have to uh, backtrack a whole heap. So what I'm thinking is, based upon what we know from what this told us when we started constructing it, it puts out a signal that, you know, attracts mechanoids nearby. So I feel like this would be Jin's way of attracting all of that mechanoid pressure to here so that we can take care of it once and for all. And so that is the current game plan. Once the reactor is researched, we'll get it built, we'll start it up, and then we'll get ready to take care of that threat once and for all. You might see that we're also building a monument down here, and that's part of a quest for Kin, of all people. We can nominate a successor 
to the Empire and heir for Jin. And for it to be kin, we need to have this big monument to, to symbolize that. We're also very lucky that we have two trade caravans coming in at the moment, one from the Fallen Empire and one here from our own. Which I guess, yes, they are both our empires. Oh wow, we actually managed to get a laser sniper rifle made. You know what, Jesse, I know you've been hauling around that big auto cannon forever, but I think I'd like to try you out with that for our future raids. And the research is done. Time to make a reactor. Oh, and I should have realized it was going to be uh, this big. Well, it's going to put the ship a little off balance, but I feel like that still kind of works. It's more Star Wars. These ships are very, really symmetrical in Star Wars. More like that. That works. And something that I haven't really noted yet is that pretty much during this entire episode, Paul Lind, who joined us, has been going through a go juice withdrawal, so it's been bedridden, riding out this uh, horrific withdrawal. She's 71% of the way there, though, so I hope she'll make it before the ship fires up. In saying that, though, she's incapable of violence, so maybe it's better that she isn't there for that. Three of our auto miners are working diligently all hours, day and night to get us the plasteel that we need for the reactor. We're going to need 280 pieces of plasteel altogether to get this thing going. And yet again, even more taxes have arrived. At this stage, we're looking very good in terms of the amount of silver that we've got. Uh, we're looking at over 46,000 at this stage. There's more coming in as well. Just having a quick look at the art that's in this temple to Jin and Ken. The first one over here features Jin mutilating a spellopede. Lovely. And over here, it's a portrayal of a scyther being overcome with a human with incredible strength. Kin seems satisfied. Is Kin the human? Yes, Kin with a human. Hang wait. The slaying of the scyther by Kin with a human. I think somehow Kin was wielding a body and killed a scyther. A legendary piece of art. Oh, and it wouldn't be a Star Wars series without, well, I guess in this case, not wild boars, but a group of pigs. A group of pigs have joined. Well, <laughs> good for the colony, I suppose. Ooh, boy. Well, all the pieces are in place. Saber is currently putting together a reactor. The monument down here is not quite complete yet. I don't know whether or not the reactor will start up right away. I suppose we will see. Whoa. It is 260 degrees in this one spot here. And I think it's maybe because of the supercomputers that we have. I only just noticed now that there is this kind of glowing temperature, like just in that spot. You know what? We haven't had any disasters yet, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, oh, and you know what? 53 crocodiles, 53 man-hunting crocodiles. That seems normal. Just as Jen was about to finish this too. Everyone's quickly on the move back. <laughs> we'll deal with these crocodiles in the kill box. I mean, we have had to defend against other things while we've been out in the world, but this is certainly the most entertaining so far. Or, you know, they could just kind of hang out down the bottom. If they want to do that, then I'm just going to use our raider bots. You know, that's how they're going to play it. We'll do this. And the hope is, of course, that they can just take care of it. And you know what? Maybe everyone else can just carry on about their normal life. And there we go. That's the reactor. Now, we haven't started it up yet. I think we'll probably do that once we've finished the monument and once we've cleared out the rest of these crocs. Well, we are nearly there. Just two unlucky crocs left. And then there was one. And there we go, through the brain, that'll be that. And some great news, Lynn is finally over her uh, addiction withdrawal. Happy and healthy, she can now wander about the colony, A-OK. -okay. Oh, we are oh so close. All we need to do is just finish off this grand stele here, the last piece of art, and that will be this monument finished. And there we go, new air. Kin. Let's have a look at this one here. It was by Race Parabolic of Friendship. How nice. And so, with that, it is time for us to start the ship up. 
Okay, it'll take 15 days, which we're going to be speeding through most of those, but we can tell that it's going to attract a whole heap. An intensity we've never seen. Make sure your defenses are prepared first. We are. And there we go. Confirmed. The reactor is starting up. And it's going to take 14 days for it to start up fully. <sighs> What's going to be out there? Well, the main thing, I assume, is mechanoids. A whole purpose for doing this is to draw them in towards us. So, let them come. And that doesn't mean that we aren't going to try to upgrade some of our turrets during this time. And there's the first of our new turrets, a charge turret, which supposedly can keep on firing before its barrel durability conks out. Oh, another fun thing that we can drop down here are landmines. So let's put a few of them out. Okay. Oh boy. Hmm. Here they are, dropping right on top of us. Okay, that could be very bad. Okay, we've got folks on the move at the moment. We don't know what we're going to be dealing with here, so let's just wait till they pop, and then we'll do some popping. Okay, so this this is that one's bad. So <laughs> we need to freeze that in its tracks immediately. Pull back with our ranged folks here. Oh boy, Liam is in trouble, and we need to just blast it. And oh boy. Ah, ah, that's very bad. Paul, I'm sorry. Pig one, I'm sorry. And Townsend, there might be more deaths here as well. Right, our melee folks, they can just get into the thick of it here. We just need to... We lost the piglet. We lost Micron and Nicole. Two more boom loads. Unfortunate, but you know, these things... They happen in war. Sevastas on fire, Liam's on fire. But we are winning against the Mechanoid Menace. Our Auto Strider is dead. It can be rebuilt. Oh my gosh. No. No. How? How did. Liam? So Liam ran into here and set our entire stockpile alight. I can't. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. You criminal. Okay. That's a problem. We're going to have to deal with that. Oh, man. Oh, God. You know what? You you lot, help with the fire if you can. Let's make sure that we hold the doors open. No, hang on. Temperature in there is too high. It's too high. We need to knock down a wall ASAP. There we go. That'll help. Okay. Okay. It's it's kind, kind of coming under... No, it's not under control at all. Everyone, please put out those fires. Hey, look, some of our resources survive. Just not a lot of them. <laughs> oh, gods. Look at that team effort. It's back under control. And we were oh so close to our ammunition stockpile exploding. These damn boomalopes, they are dangerous. Really though, no one got too injured from that. We lost a few animals, which is unfortunate, but yeah, everyone's still together. Oh, and the Galactic Empire now. Right, they're gonna try and siege us with mortars. Well, we can do that too. We actually have rebuilt them in time, that's amazing. We're manning our mortars at the moment, and we're keeping an eye on exactly where they are going to end up. Alright, this is the spot. It's set somewhere nice and in the centre for us to target. Oh, the shots are off, the shots are off. Oh, okay, two hit, and that's got them wanting to assault. Good. Looks like they're splitting their forces, half going left, half going right. But they will all eventually arrive at the same destination. Their final destination. Muhaha. Well, Hadley's the first unfortunate soul to step into here. And uh, I guess double unfortunately, it's raining. So our fire isn't going to spread as far as I would like. Oh, and we've got all of our Raider mechs here, but it seems that they don't have the range to hit them at the very end of this. So yeah, they'll get folks when they come a little closer. All right, they're coming through in slightly greater numbers now. And oh, yeah, that, that laser rifle. I like it quite a lot. Got all of our raiders firing at the same time. And they're really starting to flow through now. And they're feeling the pain. It's going to take quite a lot for them to actually make it past this point. Even without the fire. 
Their attention's gonna be fixated on the sides. We should be pretty safe here. And you know what? Seeing as it's been a little while, let's go and chuck a force storm out there, eh? Why not? Wonderful. Just magnificent, the amount of firepower that we're able to output now. They're having a bad time right here. And saying that, their armor is actually pretty well suited to try and defend against our uh, blaster bolts. You know what? I, I don't think that they are going to uh, break. I think with the Empire, we need to kill all of them. Only a few in the rear there. We'll just chuck a force storm on them if we can. Yeah! <laughs> Alan, Smarty, you're having a bad time. Bo, you too. Now we've just got Brew and Har- or oh, Harper's downed. Okay, maybe just Brew? Let's see, you're gonna be walking into a- yeah, a bad time. Alright, well, we're gonna let our folks relax at this stage. I think they're safe. Yeah. Oh boy. They're here again. Okay, and they're dropping all over the place. Right, so, I think what we'll do is we'll just try and hold up again. Yes, let them come to us. Unfortunately, Zale's gonna have a little bit of a bad time here. He's gonna make his way back through. Wow, they deleted that. Yep. Go on, Zale, you'll be safe. Excellent. Well, the EMP is working as intended. Unfortunately, it looks like we will set off a few flames occasionally. Zale, buddy, you, you best be careful making your way back in there. There we go, that's fine. Well, we've got a pikeman that's making its way around here now as well. <laughs> Stunned, fantastic put it out. I'd put the raiders over there as well, but I don't think we're going to need to. Ooh, yeah, the Inquisitors. They blow up quite quickly, and you might notice that there's this incredibly bright light here. I do have a number of searchlights. I'm kind of hoping that they would target more than one target when we obviously have more than one target, but the idea is to completely blind and overwhelm the target. And speaking of targets, there's only two left. We've got a centipede and an inquisitor. Oh, and another at the same time. Yet again, scattered all across the map. So we'll hold the same. I don't think we've got any landing in our base from what I can see. Oh, we just blow up an inquisitor. Oh, no, I lie. We've got three. A scyther, another scyther. Okay, we can handle the scythers. Wouldn't mind Redwin trying out this laser sword that we've got for them. Let's see, uh, if you can catch them. Come on, Jin. Two luck, you're safe, you're fine. Oh wait, they're attacking each other? Amazing, because yeah, one's emergency nullification mech hive Witsky, and the other are the Tofsin mech hive. Oh, good to see a little bit of um, interpersonal fighting. Good stuff. All right, you know what? Seeing as we do have scythers here, maybe we should get these folks on the front line. You know, just in case. Although I don't, I don't think we're gonna need it. Oh, they took down the centipede outside. Actually, yeah, no, probably better that we do get some here, because that's a lot of scythers. And I don't want to lose all of our turrets. Oh, of course they're dummies. They went that way. Yeah, that's to be expected. Yeah, that's, that was not a great plan, team. <laughs> Fine. Okay, we've got a good lot of stuns over here, but those explosions aren't going to help. Tyrant seems to be handling this just fine. I'd love for Jin to just step in here and take their place. Or, you know, she could actually just go around the side and start fighting. There we go. You guys can go and rest, dummies. Oh, fantastic. We've got some new turret technology. Uh, it does use mechanoid components. We'll see what we are able to get out of it. And auto water is fantastic as well but potentially very dangerous, so we, we might not do that for now. Oh boy, there's a sand crawler here from the Jawas. Let's hope that they don't get in trouble. Because <laughs> as we know, trade caravans famously like to hang out here. And please don't step on the landmines. This is what happens when you leave a kitchen unattended. You get nearly 3,000 pieces of kibble. It's too much kibble. Oh, the suffering party and a relationship. Okay. Mother of race. Grand uncle of sorrel. And father of race. Oh boy. Well, we're going to have our mortars firing as they make their way on over. And it looks like they are going to be kind of settling in this spot here. So let's see. Right around there would be perfect. Uh, let's see where those ones go. You know what? Right bloody on. Okay. Excellent. And they are... <laughs> They're heading towards us now. And yes, the truly unfortunate thing is the Jawas are still here and they are going to get caught in the crossfire. They're going to be rounding the corner in just a moment and... Uh, yep, there it is. Chaos. 
Yeah. You still got our raider friends moving into position. We're gonna take them off running gun just so they can get into the right spot. Yeah, these poor Jawas, they're all gonna catch on fire. It's gonna be messy. So, so messy. Oh boy. Not how I would want this to go down, but here we are. Jeez. At least we know that they're not gonna be able to make it through all of this. I mean, they really are trying. They're pushing down, but they're just getting melted as soon as they get in range of all of these turrets that we've got here. Deadly stuff. Huh. Oh, hey! The sand crawlers got away. That's something. And there we are. Oh, they're running in. That was a big explosion. Bigger than I would have uh, liked. Oh, no. Come on. Not our EMP cannon. Well, let's see. Oh, okay. It's all right. The raiders are just stunned. And not all of the Jawas died. So, that's a win. All right. Let's put these fires out. And let's get reset. Oh. <laughs> Another. And... Okay, it looks like they are going to try and prepare. This is the Galactic Empire, so that does actually give us a little bit of time just to chill. All right, that's this spot, I think. Oh man, right next to the reactors. That's more than a little dangerous for mortars. You know, I'm I'm sure this will be just fine. Let's go set them a little bit further, ideally. Okay, at least two of them are ready, so we'll let them fire off. There we go. And please do not hit our reactor. Okay. I mean, that's one right in the thick of it. That's pretty good. Our third shot's about to go off and just, well, right now. Come on, Cisco, let's see. Okay, too far. Well, we couldn't get another mortar off. That's fine. We'll just deal with them when they arrive. Oh, and they dropped an Ultima Pearl, which is a very expensive crystal. Lightsaber crystal, that is. Looks like they're kind of splitting up again. But the bulk of them are going this way destroying our wind pumps. It looks like the first of them have made it here. It started to open fire. As we know, this is not going to go well for them. However, the Empire doesn't retreat. So, we're gonna have to kill every last one of them. And don't worry, we will. We will. A little force storm in the mix. Yeah, that'll do it. I am still surprised how far some of them can make it. Like, that's... That's wild. With everything that's firing at them, they're still making it that far. Anyone that gets too close will be sure to just yeet them across the field with Jim. Yeah, they might be able to make it over here, but they don't last for long when they get down. How, for example. You know what? They actually made it pretty far. Let's do another four storm over here, eh? Oh, that's a good one. Princess? Yep. Not gonna last. And the real fantastic thing is that we haven't been touched once. We are A-OK. -okay. We've got these nice uranium barriers here that help protect us. So we can fire without too much of a chance of us getting hit back. Only a handful left now. There's a few of them that are a little bit further away. Hanging out by a landmine, no less. Just a few left on the outside now, so we're just going to... Uh... Oh, they're going to steal what they can and leave. OK, sure, yeah, just... Take your credits or whatnot and get out of here. Oh, what crystal is that? Oh man, I kind of need to know what that is now. All right, we're gonna force speed with Jin. Let's track this guy down, Jin. Let's see, yep, there we go. Midori, you are down. Oh, and it's a proper Kyber crystal. Excellent, one of the most powerful crystals that can be used as a lightsaber focus. Well, that sounds great. And surely that's gotta be better than the one that we've got right now. I mean, the Crate Dragon Pearl, monstrously powerful. Hit chance goes up, cooldown, and damage multiplier. Whereas I guess this is just a damage multiplier. Okay. You know what, Ken? How about you equip that one? We've got just over a week before this thing starts up. We just took down another siege from the suffering party, and we're rebuilding. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we've got a mech hive dropping down on us. Some of them are going to be inside, others are going to be out. Just have to keep an eye and see where red dots pop up. Okay, most the outside, one inside. Okay, well that's not fair, is it? We've got Tyrant running down at the stage, and Jin is not that much further behind. Already engaging, Jin should be able to finish this pretty quickly. With the two of them, we'll get them back on that front line. Oh, and infestation as well. 
That's fun. I guess they'll get the chance to fight each other. Oh, the first of them are starting to make their way around the corner. Unfortunately, we don't have an EMP cannon this time, but we should still be able to take them out pretty quickly. All right, Tyrant and Jin are done. And oh boy, yeah, looks like uh, they're going to be able to take care of each other up here. Probably worthwhile enraging some of the centipedes in the back there. Excellent. Get them fighting each other. Yeah, they're, they're pretty preoccupied with attacking each other at the moment. That's great. Oh, all right. Let's go put it onto the next. Now, we will have to send our raiders out to go and face this pikeman because it's oh, sitting at a distance far away. Oh, and we've got a bug inside the wall, so Ken, go take that thing down, please. Good job, raiders. Head on back. And the rest of our folks could probably relax for now, as long as they stay within the walls. This lot eventually will come over and be trouble. Ken's taken down that bug. Yeah, rest up. And here we go. Dealing with those that are left. And that is that. Okay, everyone relax. Oh, we've actually got another kyber crystal so we're gonna give the other one to fox emergency nullification mech hive whiskey oh and they're right in the bloody center again yet again we have no idea what we're gonna be facing here oh boy okay yep hmm that's 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 bad that is bad oh that's okay that's okay, now we can just face them. I'm okay, I'm okay with this. Uh, that, that, not so much. The termite, yeah, that needs to go. Yeah, we're, we're gonna make quick work of this group. Just the big old termite left now. And then we're done. Yeah, good defense. Ooh, okay. Another mech hive. And, oh, okay, I thought you were attacking me. But not quite. They're chilling, so let's, uh, let's mortar them. All right, let's see if we get anything with them. Mm, not quite, okay. So, Maybe not. Oh, I stand corrected. It looks like they might kind of be hanging out here. Yeah, if we could hit anywhere along that line, I'd be happy. Oh, oh, I see what you're doing. Ah, right. Yeah, don't like that at all. You know what we are going to do? We're going to go and call in a elite squad. And we'll just say pop in down here, thanks. Some new friendlies from the Fallen Empire who are just going to charge out there to uh, face our foes for us. Let's see how they... Uh, how they fear. Yeah, not a, not a great start. Just like instantly one of them's dead. Yeah, they they did not last long. Well, they kind of just seem to be regrouping weirdly. So let's, uh, let's hit them with some mortars then. Oh, uh, they're starting to make their way in now. To cause a little bit of trouble. We've got our raiders making their way in as well. Oh, buddy. That was, that was not a great, that was not a great plan, was it? Well, do some shooting before you die. Let's see if we can get maybe one shot off of the mortar. Yeah, kind of. Looks like this is going to be a bit of a street fight here. Jim's currently rushing into the fray. Well, we're engaged in melee as much as we can. Hotly contested territory, but we're making this work for us. Yeah, we are carving our way through them at the moment. Ken, my lad, you are pretty hurt. How about we just go and use heal self on you, eh? Let's see if that'll help. Much better. Ooh, and a master drain. Only two centipedes left now. Let's take them down quick, yeah? There we go. Done. Ooh, the mech hive is back again and in force, and it's just scythers. So many scythers. Oh, it's not just scythers. It's also the Galactic Empire. Hmm, okay. Brother of our laborers, I see. Okay, right. Two directions, fantastic. We might be able to time this rather well because the scythers are still making their way around and our friends up here are just kind of chilling out. And then there's Ricky. Why, why are you different, Ricky? Well, we don't have time to think about that. Time to mortar them. It looks like the first of the scythers are going to get here, but ideally we want this lot coming in at the same time. Oh, and they are sieging. So Tyrant here. Let's place a shot just somewhere in there, please. Meanwhile, we're going to be stunning the Scythers as they attempt to make their way in here and just blasting away at them. Ooh, there's that first mortar shot. Come on, hit them. Oh, okay, went far. Let's try again. They haven't managed to push past this point, so that's great. However, the more that we shoot down that way, I guess the higher the chances are that they're going to break through. Yeah, there is just a massive congregation of them at the moment. Oh, next shot is off. Let's see how we do. Come on. Yeah, that's not flying. Let's get Leandro down here as well. We're going to need extra folks. 
Oh yeah, they've started hitting us with mortars. That's not good. At least this lot hasn't made it much further yet. Let's see if we can stop this one. Oh yep. Yeah. Oh no, it's overcoming us. I see. We'll have to take it down pretty quickly then. Oh boy, that's hefty. Our own is going to be off in a moment. There we go. Let's see how we do. Come on. Better. That's better. And an explosion as well. Exactly what we wanted to see happen. Oh, this, not so much. That's, <laughs> that's a little messy. But then again, in saying that, yeah, the Empire's here to assist. Jeepers. That's a lot of laser fire. What a fight. And there goes Ricky. Ah, oh, he didn't last long. Well, there are a few that have made it a little closer here, but they are going down. It's wild to me how well the Scythers are doing it here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, very unfortunate. Well, what can you do? That's the last of the ones that are closest to us. There we go. A slight reprieve. And they are just really hammering into each other. We have also been hitting this area with mortars as well. Let's just uh, readjust to uh, here, let's say. Okay, uh, not much luck on those, so we'll just send them back. Yeah, the rest of our folks are just gonna stay here for now, until they're done. My gosh, it's a slaughter. Youch. And now, the Scythers that are still alive are gonna make their way down here. Thankfully, the EMP cannon is still good. It's gonna be difficult to try and keep them here, but we'll do our best. Some, no doubt, are going to make it through a little bit further each time. But we've got our good melee fighters ready should they be needed. Oh, and a shuttle's arrived for the laborers. I suppose you can go. They won't be able to help us much here anyway. Oh, some very good stuns at the back here. Excellent. Ah, they're overcoming the stun now. So, the rest of our folks are now in firing range. Just don't let them get much further than this. Damn, I think that's it. This is the last one. There we go. All right, you can all rest. Just look at that mess. You know what? That's ours now. Only four days left now, and the Galactic Empire has taken on hedonism after that last siege. Good for you. Oh, and shuttle folk, you can go. Ah, and there it is. The Fallen Empire lost its last location, so we're going to have to take it back. We will be sending TS's military, level 6. And now the Confederation is here. Well, well, well. And they're attacking from two separate points. Well, I decided to move this lot up here so that they should be easier to deploy. Ooh, LaGrange, it's going to be a close call, but I think you're going to make it. Yeah, keep on going, lad. Oh! Oh, there was just a hole in the wall. Well, that's fantastic. That's great. <laughs> well, we're going to have to send some of our knights around there now. And it's uh, sure going to get interesting. Got a bit of a force storm to kick things off. You know what? I guess we could try and bait them back, couldn't we? Might be a little bit too late for that. Get you two to hold back in there for now. Magpeo, if you can bring them back this way. And Jin, if you just get them off of Magpeo for now, just push them away. Or not. That works too. Let's keep this door open. It looks like they were a little interested in this, but we should be able to bring them down towards here. Yeah, there we go. And the rest of the fighting... Oh, isn't happening up here yet. Oh, they just... They also just fought their way in here. Okay, they're everywhere we don't want them to be. I have no idea how that happened, but it happened. We're gonna have to send our animals in to help this attack as well. Yeah, they must have had breach weapons. Bastards. Yeah, our animals are going to be feeling it after this, but we're gonna, gonna try our best. I'm actually gonna put them on search and destroy now. We're about to send the range squad through here. It's still pretty messy down here, but we are we're doing something. Our poor crate dragons though. They're helping. This is just a big old mess of bodies and bruises. To think the group that's caused us the most grief so far has been this one. Okay, we've got the first lot running away. That's good. We we'll send down Jin and Kin to help with this lot. Cisco and Leandra are doing a great job over here, getting into the thick of it now with Baldy and the rest of our crate dragons. Here we go. That's good. Kin and Jin fighting side by side. We haven't lost any animals yet. 
Keep it up. <sighs> and the rest of them are fleeing. Okay, we're going to immediately allow everyone to just get to work trying to save our animals. There's going to be a lot of them that are bleeding out. We're missing our medic bot, so we just need to make sure that we get healing on them. I admire Jesse for being able to carry, you know, Baldy and Rytherion. Able to carry a fully grown crate dragon. It's impressive. Okay, we managed to get a settlement. That was the last one as well. There it is. Koga. Every settlement on the map is ours. Okay, I think we've done it. No one's going to bleed out. We've got a lot more wounds to seal up, but everyone's stabilizing. Oh boy. Well, we're still reeling from the last attack, and Whiskey's here. Not too many, though. Oh, well, of course, there's two lots. Well, here we go again. It's time. And those shields are going to cause us a little bit of grief to start with, but we should be able to crack them. There we go. Excellent. We're going to get our own droids out in front. We seem to be holding them pretty good at the door now. We'll take out that Inquisitor, make a bit of a boom. That'd be nice. Before it gets too far ahead. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. That really opened things up. We tore through them so fast this time. I think that's all of them, really. There's a few Scythers who are just kind of hanging around, being a nuisance. Oh, and it's because there is an opening down there. Okay, we need to fix that as soon as possible. Leandra, we'll send you down there to have a bit of a fight. Sorrel, I know you're recovering as well, but we'll send you down too. Same thing with Redwind. And that's the lot up here. Oh, actually, no. There's one left we need to wait for. I'm actually just going to let the rest of them continue working. Because <laughs> we've got this one under control. Only 1.5 days left. Well, that's just frustrating. Oh, there's no messing around. Okay. Covenant from both sides. Well, our folks need to sleep, so I'm going to see how the automated defenses hold on this one. Well, the answer is they don't, because they're going to break through. Well, this sure is going to be interesting, isn't it? Yup, here we go. We're going to start to line up our ranged fighters, have them behind a wall of melee fighters, and try and hold them there as, you know, best we can, get them to break, and then go take care of the ones to the south. Well, it looks like we've got another break to take care of. Ah, good. Done and dusted. To the south we go now. And this, honestly, this might be the norm for now. So we'll have to wait and see. Jin, hold that door. Give our ranged fighters a clear shot into the, uh, the group back here. Jin is feeling it though. Come on, hang in there. We can get her to get a heal off while she's here. That'd be great. Okay, that's something. I doubt we'll be able to do it, but if we can get a drain off as well, that'd be even better. Back to full health. <laughs> And there we go, broken. Time to rebuild, yet again. Oh boy. Okay, well, the whiskey folks are back and they've picked a new drop spot for us. Brilliant, with nine hours to go. Uh, let's get everyone in position. Okay, so eyes out for inquisitors. If we see them, they need to go right away. Uh, yep, there they are. Okay, so let's get them targeted. Let's actually get a force choke off, because I think that will help. Just kind of keep them in position. Let's force push this one away. Oh, well, that did something. We'll choke this one here as well. Keep it nice and still. Excellent. There we go. And now the rest of us can just go buck wild. Damn, that was fast. That's, that's it. Hot damn. All right, let's put out these fires and say goodbye to our pod launchers. We only have two hours left on this thing. Was that the last siege? An hour left. Maybe. Maybe. It's counting down. Okay, no, I think that might be it. 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 3, 2, and we're down to seconds. Let's see. That's it. Reactor ready. After all of that, all that fighting, the power-up sequence is complete. We're ready to lift off to the stars to expand the empire of Umbara. The way of the Sith was refounded here in this place, in the temple of Tulak. And Jin's shadow will spread across the galaxy for better or for worse. And because we are at the end here, ready to leave, we need to pick who's going. And it's gonna be these four. 
Jin, Ken, Saber, and Fox, the effective leaders of this place, both spiritual and militarily. In their stead, Lagrange will be taking command of the temple. I'm astounded by how much wealth we've been able to generate here with the various settlements that we have dotted across the planet. Jin and Ken were just two scavengers. And now there's something much more. And having a look at the two of them here, socially, they really didn't make friends outside of just each other. They have a very good opinion of each other, all things considered. You know, they did try to kill each other, but beyond that, no romantic connections at all. I mean, a few friendships around, but beyond that, they kind of had a one-track focus. But we did have some relationships pop up here. We had Fox and Rytherian. We had Lagrange and Tyrant. Perhaps if we were here for longer, there would be other relationships over time. But we have been here for a while. We are just, well, as I speak, now on day 530. It's been quite the haul. Oh, and okay, we lost a building in Koga. That's fine. They can rebuild. But for now, we need to go and get into these pods. One by one, each of them will enter. Oh boy. There we go. Jenison, Kin, Saber, and Fox. And just like that, I think we're ready. Ready for launch. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, we do it from here. The ship's computer. Well, I've been playing RimWorld for a very, very long time. But I've never hit this button. I've never actually finished the game. And so with that, it's time to launch. There's a whole galaxy out there, Jin. Here we go. There we go. We've launched the ship. Saber, Ken, Jin, and Fox have left the planet behind. Our machine persona will try to guide the ship to a safe place. It may find a prosperous planet in the system may undertake a centuries-long journey to another star. Perhaps we'll find out in another time, in another place. As of course, this was all a story from a galaxy far, far away and a time long ago. I'd like to thank every single one of you who have joined me for this series. It's been a ball to put together and this final episode was, well, a lot to put together. But in the end, we made it. Jinso Ambara and Kinso Ambara prospered. And so, with that, the rule of two comes to a close. And it's not the end of RimWorld on the channel. RimWorld will return at some stage, but there will be a little bit of a break between this series and the next. So, I ask you all one final time. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, may the Force be with you.